Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. Yeah, today actually we're starting it again in the garage. Kind of a little bit change of scenery because I've been starting it outside the garage. Now we're back in here. And today we're working on the M3 because today I want to perfect it. Like I always tell you guys I'm perfecting the M3, but this time it's like one of the last things. The only two things that the M3 needs right now to make it absolutely perfect is two front tires and a brand new key because the key, as you guys know, unlocks the door manually, does not do it automatically. So I want to, I want to buy another key, and then that will be my my spare key. I have two keys then. So for the tires, I went ahead and ordered this one. Um, I pretty much bought a used tire, Michelin Pilot Super Sport 255, 35, 19 to match this other Michelin Pilot Super Sport. But I don't know if you guys can tell by the 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 what's it called, the tread. This thing has like. 55% to 60% while this one's like brain spanking new. I didn't realize this was stupid new. So yeah, this is the one I had and this is the one I bought. It was like a hundred bucks too. It wasn't even cheap. It was actually kind of crazy. But yeah, now I, I guess I have two tires. So I guess now I have to buy one of each to have a set of four. I don't know. I really don't know. I'm about to head down to the bank, drop off some cash to pay off some credit because that's life. And then I'm going to head down to our tire shop in Oak Grove. They're having, they have uh, two Pirelli tires for sale, um, mounted everything for 110 out the door if I have cash. So yeah, got the cash. Yeah, so I had I have to I have to spend more money. That is life. I gotta go spend another 110 on tires, which is actually a pretty good deal. And then I gotta go, go spend another 110 just to mount them, just to get an alignment done on the whole front end because the front end needs an alignment. It's bad. So yeah, let's go get some tires, then get an alignment, and then the alignment place is about a mile and a half from the gym. So I think I'm gonna run to the gym, work out at the gym, and then run back to the tire place, pick up my car, and then head home. So that's the missions for today. Get some new tires make sure this alignment is perfect because that's stuff that's been really irritating me and i'll show you guys how bad the tires are i'm gonna need to get a backpack to hold all my stuff because if i'm gonna be running holding a camera and all this stuff it's not gonna be convenient all right i just got my backpack let's head out all right guys just dropped off the money let's head over and get some tires He's just pretty much putting on the tires right now and I'll show you guys that in a little bit. Wheels are on. Fitment is not the best, but we'll figure it out here. All right guys, so it turns out that I apparently chose the wrong tires on the car. So basically, as soon as I was trying to pull out, it started rubbing really bad, um, like really bad. So I couldn't deal with that. So I told them like if they could take it off and thankfully they took it off and they're putting on a new set. So I really do appreciate them for that. Um, so yeah, I'm just waiting for them to put on the new set and hopefully we can go down to the shop and just get this thing aligned because it's been taking a little bit longer than I expected. All right guys, so he went ahead and took off the rims. So what he ended up giving me is another Michelin Pilot Super Sport instead of those other two Forellis or whatever. I don't even think it was Pirellis. It was like Forellis or whatever, something like that. I, <laughs> I have no idea. But anyways, they gave me, they went ahead and just gave me some Michelins for the same price. These The tread is uh, about 60% according to them. That's good enough. If I can get the alignment done, I can pretty much, you know, use the full life of these tires and their Michelin Pop Super Sports. So these are honestly the ideal tires to have on this car. So again, shout out to them for helping me out because when they put on the other tires, I literally could not drive this car out and I was getting really frustrated and uh, they, they hooked it up at first. I'm not gonna lie, what didn't go, it did not look so good, but um, we figured it out. So no hard feelings, all is good. And uh, I'm just happy that we can finally get some tires on this thing. So I can get this alignment done and we can finally rest in peace. All right guys, so we finally got the tires on it. I'm not hearing any rubbing. We got some Michelin Pilot Super Sports. I'll be dead away for you. My lips are blue. My heart is dead. I'm such a fool. And I'm already leaving because they just told me that uh, they are booked completely today, so I won't be able to do an alignment. Uh, my luck today is just on par, but I did schedule an appointment for Monday, so I guess I'll catch y'all on Monday. Yeah, I think, <clears throat> I think the title of this video is gonna change. So last night, I was coming back from school and I get a brake light. I'm like, okay, no big deal, just some brakes and pads. It's whatever. I step outside the car and I realize the brakes and rotors are nearly shot. So um, I saw some things online how you can actually like just take off the sensors and then clear the lights through Carly and then nobody needs to know because I do 
I have a big project I want to bring to you guys but it is sacrificing the M3 as you guys know. But at the same time, I can't put myself to it letting the next person get screwed over with braces. I don't know except that he could get in an accident, something could happen to him because of my stupid ass clearing the codes and stuff. So I'm gonna leave it as it is. I'm actually not gonna be replacing it. I'm just gonna even mark it down even more. Um, but anyways, we get the M3. It's over there, down there. I'm gonna bring it up here next to my sister's car, um, her new baby. Just check it out, see if there's anything that looks, just looks off, I don't know. But it was kind of weird how it threw all the brake lights at once, like front and rear at the same time. And it should never do that, like unless a sensor or something got cut. So uh, maybe I got lucky. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. By the way, guys, it is freezing. What am I? I'm probably gonna run inside, and get some pants, and some uh, jacket, or something in a little bit. Let me get the car real quick. Let's just look at it. Um, first off, it has a brake light, which is really weird um, for the front. And I don't know if you guys can see, see if I can help you guys focus real quick. I don't know if you guys can see the brake pad. There is no way, like no way I got a brake light for the front. It's not like the rotors have sensors. The rotors are pretty worn. Um, I do think they only have like five to 10,000 miles in them, but the brake pads, I just don't understand. So I'm gonna go ahead and jack up the car and see what's going on. You know I do it for the family, yeah. Give a fuck about a Grammy. You guys just saw I got my two front wheels put on at the shop because um, I got these Michelin tires on right now. Um, the tread on these, if you guys are wondering, are about like 60 to 70. Nothing brand new, but they are Michelins, which is something I wanted to stick with. The other ones, the reason why I went with them in the first place is they were super cheap and they had brand new tread on them. But when they told me that was, wasn't, that wasn't the right size, we have a smaller size. I was like, you know what, since you're taking them off, let's just go back to Michelin. And that's what we went with. But again, this is a real big pain right now. I have to figure out how to break these loose. You guys just saw what I pulled out there, but this thing was literally just dangling down Um, now I don't know if this thing was ripped. I don't really know. It looks pretty bad it Looks like it was rubbing against something and just ripped off Um, hopefully it still worked still looks like it's connected and everything So I'm gonna go ahead and plug it back in and reset the light and see because I don't know if you guys can see those brake pads Still got a lot of tread in them. Uh, I don't know if you guys can really see that or not. Not tread. It's not a tire but um, a lot of, uh, what's it called? Still had a lot of life in them. These rotors, I would say, it's not shot actually, but you know, you can't resurface these. So I don't know how much life they got probably. If you guys know how much life these have, let me know. But actually looking at them from right here, it looks like it still has a little bit more life. So I might have gotten, gotten lucky with the fronts. Like yesterday's when I ended up getting the light and I, my whole mood got shot for the day. And that just comes to show like, don't freak out, it, it, things, don't always seem as bad as it is. Uh, yeah, I got all the lights at once, but it's something as stupid as a sensor being disconnected. And hopefully, I still got a lot of life on these. Um, it could only have 5,000 miles left. I'm not really too sure with rotors and stuff. You guys let me know. Uh, I'll show you guys again how it looks. So that's my finger right next to it. Um, if you guys know how much life these rotors have, or they still have a lot of life, that'd be great, let me know. But as for the brake pad, it's still like brand new in the front. So I'm just gonna go plug this back in, and hopefully we're good. All right, guys, check out the monster truck, y'all. Man, that looks crazy. <laughs> that actually looks messed up. I should probably get a thumbnail like that. That actually looks kind of crazy. All right, guys, so I'm pretty stoked. I'm not touching the car lead adapter. It's right there. I'm not touching it. So let's go ahead and get in the car and uh, see if I can reset it and will the light go away? Because I tried resetting it yesterday when I was driving. Uh, actually, when I was at my campus and it won't let me reset it, mainly because I thought that the brakes were just completely shot. Um, I didn't hear any squeaking. I don't know if uh, big brakes do squeak. I have no idea. I'm not a professional with any of this stuff, but um, I don't even have the keys on me. Yeah, I know I got a gas light. Oh my lord, I don't want to deal with this. See the brake light? That's actually because of the brakes. If I show you guys right here, um, let's see. Service required. You see front brakes, and it, it only said front brakes, and then when I reset it, it said front and rear. So I was like losing my shit. <laughs> so uh, let's go ahead and see if I can reset it real quick. Um, is this in full accessory mode? I have no idea. So I'm gonna go ahead and hold down this. Let's go. Triangle, come on, services, services, services. 
So that is a front brake. So if you guys want to reset that, all you got to do is hold down the BC button until you see reset and then hold it down again. And it should reset it. So now it's resetting. And if it works, it will actually, that light should go. And if it doesn't work, then I'm screwed. Um, all right, guys. So I just went ahead and called AutoZone and they just told me that um, the sensors, they don't even know if they have them. So um, that's some great news. Always great. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and call BMW real quick. And uh, actually, I'll let, you, I'll let you guys feel the experience when I call them BMW. You know what I'm saying? Press 1 for service. Press 2 for part. Press three for recall information. It's definitely three. I thought it was uh, Please, parts. No, Services or parts? Serv no, nah, sales. I thought it was sales, but it's parts. Don't worry about me. I'm going full retard. Nila BMW parts. This is Vanessa. Can I help you? Yeah, I'm wondering if you guys have any brake pad sensors uh, in stock. Um, I can look it up. Uh, do you have the last seven of your bin? Yes, I do. Um, one second. Yeah, what's the last seven? It's uh, P as in Peter. Okay, you need the rear brake sensor or the front brake sensor? Uh, let's just say the front right now. Uh, you need a driver's side or the passenger side one? There's oh, two? Um, so on regular cars, they're uh, front left and back right, but then on the M car, they get two. One on each side. Uh, <laughs> yeah, M's get, two of, M's get two of everything. Double the price. Oh, that's great. M tax is real. Okay. <laughs> Oh, um, yeah. yeah, okay. Um, so, okay, then the two fronts. Okay, left and right, okay. Yeah. So it does matter when you buy both which side belongs to which side, okay? Really? Okay. Did not know that. I mean, like, look at their filters. They get two filters and the other car get one, so you get to pay double everything. Um, let's see. So it's $38.26 each. $26 each? And I don't... $38.26 each. So $39 each. E92, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so you get one on each side. Nice. Like you. Perfect. Okay. Well, guess what? You get two on the back, too. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm sure we're talking about the same thing if you didn't break. Okay, awesome. Um, I, I have to do some research then real quick, and then I I'll get back to you. Okay. All right. I on the back, it looks like you only have one. <laughs> oh, on the back, there's only one? Yeah. Okay, but the front, there's two. Okay. There's two. All right, <laughs> okay, I'll do some research and I'll get back to you, thank you. All right, thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. Car is free. If anyone wants to pick it up, it'll be in downtown SAC. Just uh, hit me up. <laughs> you guys just hear him? So she just said there's two sensors in the front and they're 40 bucks a piece. Um, I guess in this case, uh, I'm gonna check the other side. I might get lucky and the sensor's also out on the other side. I really doubt that, but let's just see. Oh, I think because they're big, like the, the rotors, the, the bigger rotors, the big brake kit, so maybe that's the reason it has two. I think that's my only logical explanation, but oh my God. Just get the car lined up so we can see yeah. the other sensor. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, coming in, coming in coming yeah, in. flex. I just wanna win, just yeah. Win. LA BB, who we running with, yeah. Two, two, three. I'm on 10 again. Yeah, state your name. Big Ben Dope on Flame. I just switched the lane. How? How is this one not plugged in either? Like, how they both unplug out of nowhere? And this doesn't even have the clip anymore on it. Which kind of sucks. So, how am I going to get that to sit on there? Dang, how'd that happen on both sides? All right, guys, so I just spoke with Devon, and I'm, t I'm seeing if he has any sensors because I'm missing the clip. I feel like somebody is trolling me, guys. Check this out. So like on this sensor, there is no clip. It like some as if somebody just yanked it out and the clip went away. All right, this car has three sensors: two in the front, one in the rear. And then I just stuck my hand through the rear of this one, and there's no sensor. There's no sensor connected, so it's dangling. Also, the light came on for all three of them at once. I don't understand how that happened. There is just no way all three sensors went like. There's no way. So what I'm starting to think. Is that one of you guys are playing with me or somebody else decided it was a good idea to unplug all my sensors because it's not that hard. You just put your hand and unplug all three of them. So I don't know if it was a little funny prank. I don't know if it was a friend. I don't know who it was, but it's not funny at all because it really, really shot my mood yesterday. Um, but whatever it is, I'm just thankful. It looks like it's just the sensors, all three of them. So I'm going to go ahead and go over to Devon's place. We're going to go get the, the air compressor tank for the uh, for the 
for Project Daily. And then we're also gonna pick up the paint gun and some other stuff. And then we're gonna go, what's it called? What else we need to do? We need to get the sensors. So let's head down there and uh, see what he has in store for us. All right guys, so we are heading over to Devon's place, picking up the sensors, picking up all the stuff. And then uh, I'm probably actually gonna head over to prayer. And then after I finish with that, He's gonna meet me back at my house um, after that we can get all the stuff, all the painting equipment, and hopefully get started on Project Daily. But yeah, let's go get those sensors real quick. All right guys, so I'm here at his house. I really messed up, dude. Like I faced, like I literally, as I was trying to untighten that bolt, just face it onto my car. Oh, I wasn't even worried about my tooth. I was worried about if I chip my paint. <laughs> oh my lord, but I'm good, I'm good. I'm chilling. Do you have the clip? Please. Oh, okay. Well, it's connected. Yeah. Okay, guys. The clip's still in there. That's what I need. So, um, actually, this whole sensor, just in case, honestly. They said at BMW it's different. I don't understand how it's different, really. The but M3? For, for the M3, yeah. But uh, I guess we'll find out. But I, I just need this clip. And if I'm got, if I have the clip, I think I'm good to go. All right, guys. So Devon just had this thing stored up, up back in here, gun and everything. I don't know how much you get this gun for. Out of curiosity. Like Twenty. Uh, okay, so we'll uh, <laughs> we'll probably get a better gun, but we have the tank and everything, which is the main thing, which is gonna save us a lot of money. So yeah, we're gonna take this to our place so we can go ahead and get everything set up to start painting Project Daily. All right, guys, we're about to head over to my place right now and uh, put on the sensor. officially back home. The reason why uh, I was asking Devon if he had a sensor, I just need this little metal clip on there and hopefully that's all I need because I don't know if this is the same wire that worked for mine, but I know this clip will work no problem. So, so I'm gonna swap over that clip and plug in the sensor and hope to God everything's good. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and see if we can reset this real quick. All right, guys, so um, Devon had a good idea. My foot was actually on the brake. I'm assuming um, that you're not supposed to have the e-brake up either, and your foot should not be on the brake. And then uh, we're gonna go ahead and put this on accessory real quick. Clear all these lights. Now that we got all that cleared, let's go ahead, hold the BC button, this, whatever the hell, I don't know, this little dongle thing until you see the service intervals. And let's try resetting it here. Nah, it's still there, bro. So anyways guys, I think that pretty much concludes today's video with the M3. So yeah, we pretty much got the tires on there. We're trying to figure out the whole wheel situation. Um, just a couple things you gotta figure out. I think I just have to order some sensors. I just need some new sensors because also Carly says that we do not reset old sensors. So I think I just need to get some new sensors. I think that's what I'm about to do. I'm just gonna set an order for them and then we'll figure that out hopefully in a future video and then get the alignment done and everything like that in a future video for you guys, but I'll try to integrate that in another video to make sure it's actually worth watching. Right, guys, and now we're at Devon's place. So, uh, completely changing events. Uh, basically, the M3 situation, we're just gonna have to order some new sensors. It looks like we, I could have just got lucky and used some sensors. Obviously, you could probably still use some rotors or some brake pads in the near future, but as of now for me, because I do plan on selling it, unfortunately, um, it's just not worth dropping another like two grand into brakes and rotors on that car. So, that's just, you know, that's that. On a positive note, Check out Devon's car. Right now it's up, he's trying to, dude, guys, check this out. Did you guys know his 335 came with M3 rotors and M3 calipers? Like, that's absolutely insane. Like, the price of this combination right here probably cost more than how much he got the car. So, man, he got a really, whoever that built this car is one of the subscribers. Shout out to you, but also, like, low key, I don't know why he didn't, dude. <laughs> I don't know why. But anyways, anyways, we're trying to take that thing off. Once we take that off, we'll put on the new three-piece wheels. Yeah. And uh, we'll see it. I mean, I, I'm, I keep telling him, keep the stock ones on. Because guys, those wheels are my absolute favorite. I don't know why, it's something about them. I've never seen them before and I love them. Um, I mean, I, I would just keep these on, but he wants to try his three-piece ones he just picked up. Bro, that's like at least an extra two inches yeah, all the way around. In this thing is huge, guys. Size matters. <laughs> this, dude. Anyway, this, see, that's the front, right? Yeah, that's the front. Dude, oh, you might actually go monster truck on us right now. Yeah. I want to see this. I'm not gonna lie, it looks really good, <laughs> but it's gonna rub like a mother. Like, oh my lord. We tested it on my car. Yeah, we did. Ever buy a used phone from a car person? <laughs> it's always on the ground, bro. At least you got a case. I don't even have a case. Mine's always on the ground. It looks, <laughs> it looks so aggressive. <laughs> Go. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh my lord. The front. The front. Dude, you're not going anywhere. <laughs> you're not going anywhere, dude. You you can't even put dude, I'm pretty sure your fender is about to bulge out. Dude, you're not going anywhere. Guys, I look so good, but I bet you a hundred dollars you can't even turn it like two degrees. Why do I need to turn when I can sit here and take pictures? Oh yeah, you right. You you have your other car for that, right? <laughs> you have two cars that can barely <laughs> All right, guys, so you guys let me know. Do you guys like this side more with the OEM rims? These are M3 rims, which I think looks stupid good. Or do you guys think the three-piece is beating it out? So you guys let me know down in the comments what you guys think is better, but, um, or, or M3 rims. <laughs> or M3 wheels, which he actually painted himself, which I'm actually quite impressed about. I mean, they are dirty, but guys, take my word for it. It actually looks really good. So um, we'll have you helping us with the paint. <laughs> paint stuff but um yeah um you guys let me know this side is better or this side let me actually show you guys a better angle real quick he's gonna have to lower this side though but dang this fit is so aggressive all right guys but that pretty much concludes the video we're about to head out and get some paint stuff for project daily so if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to smash the like button but without further ado i love you all so much remember to stay humble and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out yeah, yeah, let's go I ain't the first with the curse With the thirst that I wanna be better Not worse, man, it hurts I'm on this earth with my words And I put them all together in cert Cause I wanna have worth